Cat Burglar on Netflix. Cat Burglar is an interactive animated short on Netflix. It released February 22nd and stars Alan Lee as Peanut the Dog, James Adomian as Rowdy Cat, and Trevor Duvall as the museum director. It's 12 minutes long. It's a short. I thought it was a series when we decided to do it last week. I was very surprised when I saw it was one one thing. But yeah, I'll talk about I, was happy. I can talk about the technical details a little bit more. When the runtime says 12 minutes, it's pretty spot on. When you get all the questions right and yeah. make it all the way through, it takes 12 minutes. So it's quite short. I've tried this on phone, Fire Stick with a remote, and PC with a mouse. You either tap on the answer, push the left or right button on the remote, or click on the answer with a mouse. The intro also changes for each input method that you do to. It'll show you like a picture of a remote or a mouse or whatever when the dog is talking to you. Oh, Fairly easy to do and generous with the time given. If you don't jump the answer too quickly, you should be able to get them all correct. I wrote this before I got some wrong, by the way, because I did get some wrong. If you do get them all right, the criminal cat wins, though. So choose wisely. And by that, I mean get them wrong on purpose. But if you do get them correct all the way to the end, there's six possible paintings to steal. And I guess that means there's six possible versions of each encounter to do. Did you like Cat Burglar? I liked some things about it. What did you like about it? I I like that the... First of all, I appreciate the old school animation style. Yeah. That, that we've now seen kind of two weeks in a row from Netflix. That was one of my, my notes too. Like I was very excited. Not excited. I, I enjoyed it. I appreciated just the whole animation style. Very much of a throwback type of animation. Yeah. It had that classic also, cartoon the, look. Yeah. And it even had that. I feel like I remember cartoons being that violent when we were yes. kids. That like, was a really question I wanted scratchy-ish. to. Scratchy-ish. Yeah, that was a question I wanted to ask you when we talked about this, when we got to the point, whoever mentioned the animation first. Did you think, remember last week when we talked about Cuphead, you said it lacked a sort of magic. Did you think this had that? It was closer. I think it, yeah, I think um, it had it more. I think it was because it was a rival battle most of the way through, and it didn't have a ton of dialogue. It was more just like action-based, and like the story was told through actions more than just words. Yeah, I think that's part of the magic for old stuff like that for me. I just felt like it hit that that tone that you're looking for in something like this more so than Cuphead Show did. Though I did like Cuphead Show. I definitely agree that tone was like right on yeah. for like the era, everything. I liked seeing things go wrong. It was kind of, it was kind of fun to see how that worked. It was yeah, it was fun to fail whether on purpose or by accident. I ended up failing I think yeah. on accident the first time, but I was planning my, to yeah. fail purposefully. My accidental fails were um, whenever they would sit, shoot me uh, intentionally negative. misleading. Yeah, the double yeah, negative yeah. stuff, and like, I would, and I would know the answer I want, but like, my my brain to my finger on my remote tricked me. Yeah, I had um, I, I more than one. I failed at that me. too because one of them was like something that a YouTuber doesn't say. I got right, and it was like, please like the video, and I was like, oh, and I clicked on that, and then I realized it doesn't say. Yes, yeah, so the negative ones were a little bit tougher, but they weren't hard. Like none of the questions yeah. are hard. Like any anybody who's paid attention to anything w- w- over enough years can pretty much get a grasp on. I would how argue to get through an episode. That's mostly true. Because I had one that was like chess terms, and the third one I legitimately did not know. Oh, I wish I could see it. So yeah, there's some that get kind of tricky. Like if you don't know pop culture stuff too, I had one that was like Elton John songs. Like that's fairly easy to mess up if you don't know that. It's not all like general knowledge, you know, but was it only hits? <sighs> yeah, but they some of the names are very close I mean, too. Yeah. That's the thing. So if you do it pretty quickly oh. or you don't leave okay. yourself enough time for the third one, it can get tricky. So you, you clicked Benny the Jerks or something? Something like that, I think. I didn't get that one wrong. I'm just saying that like I right. wouldn't blame you if you did. I almost expected the trivia questions to be a little harder than they were. I'm, I don't mind that they weren't. Yeah, they want you to finish. Like I said, I think there's six, not possible endings, six but there's endings. like six, six like run-throughs of each interaction. It's not bad. I just expected there to be more of it. But I did like it. I thought it was mm-hmm. a series of interactive cartoons with this cat, not just one episode of it. Did, uh, did you have any complaints about it? I have um, one. I mean, I wrote, if they make more, I'll check it out, but I was more impressed by the interactivity of it than the cartoon itself. But any specific knocks, like, no, like I said, I think they knocked, they nailed the uh, kind of old cartoon feel. My major knock was that, like, it it just, I felt misled by what it was, but that just could have been my fault in learning about it in general. Like, I thought, it, like I said, I thought it was a series. For me, the only thing was uh, kind of more of a technical 
slash visual version of things where because they had all these just scenes kind of spliced in and able to be dropped in oh, for certain transitions. Oh, after you do it the first time, it's jarring? No. Even the first time I noticed it. So like the fir- I think it was either the first time I got a question wrong or I don't know, like the cuts when yeah, you're going from is, like they are kind of session rough. to session, like they're a little rough. Like they could have the first time, made those a little cleaner. The first time you do it, it doesn't do that. But after you do it for the first time, it cuts out the stuff that they show you every single time. It doesn't change. You that notice too. that? That's kind of jarring, yeah. but I do respect it for respecting your time. I also do kind of wish that there was a way to skip the scene you're in if it's something that you've seen before, mm-hmm. which I don't think there was. That would have been nice. I just kind of wanted to try to see everything, you know? Maybe there's a way, but I don't think there's, I don't think there's like a skip scene button on the screen when you're doing this at all. I can't remember. I tried to go uh, back is. at one point because I tried to go back and you can't go back. I don't think you can go back um, or forward. It's just like it selects it. And that's whatever. Yeah, it just basically it's what, pause or it's pause or play. I think is it. But yeah, I tried to it. go back at one point because I was like, no, no, no. I didn't like. I knew the answer to that one. That's bullshit. <laughs> like I got double negatives. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, no, no, no. I that was that was my brain to my thumb. That wasn't me not knowing. So did you die at all? Um, oh yeah. Like I mean, did you like lose three lives and like fail? No, I didn't lose. Yeah, if you lose, you go. I lost once, and the cat went to heaven, and then he got kicked back down by God. But yeah, I mean, like it's twelve minutes. It's worth it, I would say, for that. It is to check it out. Why not? But I just kind of wish this was a series of episodes like this. I thought I think that would have been cool. I think they'll. I think this is probably a mostly low investment thing for them to be able you to think do. A, you think it's a test? And they'll do more. I think it's a test. I think if it if it does well, they'll drop more of these, and it's a much easier way to do this than like uh, Bandersnatch because you don't. It's just animation. You can literally have three people working this whole thing. I would like to see a full season of this. I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be a big. Not a big deal, but I think a lot of people would talk be talking about it if it was like six episodes and like every episode had multiple endings and stuff. Mm-hmm.